Novel's Conspiracy is a movie that feels like it was written in the 90s, shelved for upwards of 25 years, found, and someone said, hey, this would make a good movie. This movie shares many similarities with a lot of 90s action movies. A slightly ridiculous, over-the-top plot with some fun entertainment scenes and honestly no real value in coming back to it over and over and over again. This movie is nothing special. It is decent entertainment if you find it on TV and have nothing better to watch, or you want to just have a drinking night with your buddies. Ultimately, this movie is harmless, but I personally would not recommend going out of your way to see it. It just wasn't worth it. For me personally, what makes the movie ultimately not really worth watching is the somewhat over-the-top, gratuitous nature of certain aspects of this movie's plot. Now, the main plot of this film is that a group of Satanists that have access to slash run a biological pharmaceutical company of some nature. I don't know. It's not very well explained. Basically, they run a biological firm that specializes in taking the DNA of long since dead people such as Vivaldi, Da Vinci, and Michelangelo, taking the DNA from these bones somehow, and putting that DNA into eggs so that these classical artists can be reborn into the modern era. The introduction scene that uh, allows us to understand this concept is literally a group of rich European assholes bidding for a baby Michelangelo. I don't, they don't even bother trying to fully explain how the DNA of centuries dead people could actually be used in any meaningful way. The movie just says, hey, this is the premise, and you're expected to go along with it. But their basic plan is to seal the Shroud of Turin so they can use Jesus' DNA that was left over on it to create a new baby Jesus so that Satan can inhabit that body because a normal human body is too weak for Satan to inhabit, apparently because he is too proud or something, according to Michael. The main force trying to stop this is the Archangel Michael. For me, the best parts of this movie are... The Michael moments where he's like fighting or trying to actively stop the cult from doing their thing. That is the most entertainment that I get from the film, it is the most enjoyable moments, and it makes the most sense in the context, and it was a decent amount of fun to watch. Almost everything else felt gratuitous. Now, slight spoiler warning, but also trigger warning. Please skip to this to avoid it. This is a moment in the film where I think it goes completely over the top in what the villains chose to do, and it makes it absolutely disgusting and actually dragged me out of the film. The main villains plot so they can achieve recreating the body of Jesus and bringing him back, and the way they achieve this is they used forced in vitro fertilization. Yes, it is absolutely disgusting. They take already fertilized eggs and put them inside of women who are not willing and do not wish to be a part of this entire scenario. It is really disgusting and it completely pulled me out of the film. I felt really disgusted watching it. It was really hard for me to watch. It is a disgusting moment and I do not understand why they thought it was necessary. I get it cultists are evil. However, the scene did not sit right with me, and I don't think it would sit right with a lot of people. Uh, let's move on. Now, the movie does have a decent production value. There isn't a ton of CGI in this movie, but what little there is, isn't necessarily the best, but it works for what it's needed to, and it's never on screen for more than a few seconds, so it doesn't really hamper anything. Where this movie truly shines in its effects budget, though, are the practical effects. The angelic forms for both Lucifer and for Michael both look astounding, along with the forms for the other fallen angels that we see in this film. There's also a monster in this movie known as the Beast, and he looks absolutely phenomenal. Big hulking monster, and he looks really good. 100% props to the special effects team and the makeup artists. Every demon in this looks really, really good, and I love the fact they didn't rely on CGI for it. They went practical. Now, here's where we come to it. This movie is pretty decently directed, the acting is pretty good, and the editing honestly isn't that bad. The real problem is the writing. The over-the-top nature to make the cult really evil at times made it not worth it. Also, it doesn't really explain how this process is supposed to work, which you don't normally 100% need, but I would have liked a little bit more explanation besides, I can take the DNA from long dead people and put them into new eggs so I can bring Vivaldi and Michelangelo back to life. Now, who wants to give me hundreds of thousands of euros for them? Like I said, for me, this movie doesn't hold a ton of return value. Well, it's entertaining enough if you just want a 
dumb movie to turn on either while you're channel scrolling late at night, you know, you have nothing else on TV and you happen to find it. Sure, the movie's fine for that, but personally, I would not recommend going out of your way to watch this movie. All this being said, for me, this movie rolls a nine, just below average, because whilst it is relatively entertaining if you are either into 90s action movies want to shut your brain off for a few hours or again find it while you're scrolling on tv and there's nothing else on it really isn't anything all that special and i don't see a ton of value for me personally going back and re-watching it along with the absolutely gratuitous nature of the one scene i discussed earlier it feels very unnecessary and that is truly what prevents me from wanting to ever go back to watch this movie well that's all i have for now guys I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my socials, links to all of those are going to be in the description down below. But I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Peace.